chill what is up everybody it's your boy onto the boss here and yes it's your boy's birthday today now uh, my parents are kind of calling me up right now we're headed out to a dinner and uh, before I do that I was like you know what since I have this footage ready let me go ahead and upload it to you guys yes on my own birthday I'm gonna upload this footage for you guys that is how much you guys mean to me man so here we go let's go ahead and get into this footage you guys see how intense that is I mean there's juke moves there's fans running out to the field naked all sorts of stuff going on into this gameplay but the score is three to nothing so I'm trying to you know get a drive going right here to tie things up CJ Spiller this guy is a beast man you guys know all about him and Eli Manning stepping back right here nowhere to go except he gets this beautiful pass off to my receiver who is gonna end up at the 39 yard line so Eli Manning a lot of pressure coming into this game but he is able to make most of it and incomplete right there incomplete pass should I say right there that could have you know done a lot of damage but no worries because Eli Manning is still gonna get something going right here and then both Jackson taps this one in to tie things up so it's 7 7 now my opponent gets the ball back with a lot of time remaining a minute is just too much when your opponent has this you know momentum going so he's gonna step back get back to back completions and already you guys see he's at a perfect field position all he has to do now is get one more pass up but that one gets intercepted get that out of here man I don't have time for these games so we start off the second half obviously he gets the ball first and it is still 7 to 7 so I'm like uh oh this game is literally gonna come down to the last minute isn't it so here he goes once again and I can't seem to be able to get a stop whatsoever I don't know what is going on with my cornerbacks but here comes Ray Rice right here first and goal nothing here comes second and goal they're gonna do a wildcat nothing uh oh maybe that would have been something but I was able to get that tackle so here comes third and goal another wildcat play nothing so I don't know if he's gonna go for it here yes he does and his fullback actually goes in for a touchdown so it's 14 to 7 now I'll come out here with Eli Manning and my tight end is going to get a nice reception. Look at this man fight for a first down and it's 14-7 to here and Eli Manning going back. Get this! Oh my goodness! Look at that reception! Let's go ahead and rewind this. Look at this one more time. Not only was that a reception but he's able to break that tackle to tie things up. But like I said, every time I scored a touchdown, my opponent got the ball back with a lot of time. So he decided to run the ball a couple of times, drain the clock, and now a minute 20 is remaining on the clock. And he's just going to keep this going right here. Second and five, his fullback, who already has a touchdown, tries to get a first down right there, but they can't. So third and two right there. I was able to get a negative three-yard tackle, but he goes for it on fourth and five. And look at my defense. Why are they just standing there? If you guys go back on that play, literally my linebackers and my corners were just frozen on the play. So two seconds left here. He goes for the field goal. I'm hoping this one doesn't go down. But it is straight to the middle. So that is how my opponent comes out here in his ultimate team match and gets the W. So I'm a little disappointed. You know, this is yet another loss for me. And I just can't seem to be buying a break. My opponent seemed to have an advantage over me. No excuses, but literally something's going on with my talent. Maybe it's just me not opening enough packs. Me not having talent on my team. So... I decided to go ahead and uh, pick up a few All-American packs and I have had no luck so far because the stars of the pack have always been on the defensive side. I've always gotten either guards or defensive tackles. No key players yet. No receivers, no offensive firepowers, nothing yet. So I'm going to keep my, you know, trying my luck one more time here. All-American pack and uh, nothing really out of this. Let's see who the next two players are and we get a left tackle now. Like I predicted, Derek Sherrod, Sherrod, I think. I don't know. Here we go with yet another pack right here. Let's see who we're gonna get out of this. And as we're, I'm hoping I get a wide receiver. Give me Santana Moss or something. But the key player is a punter. Are you kidding me? So since I'm not getting anything out of packs, I was like, all right, let me go ahead and actually get players from the auction. So I'm gonna filter for a tight end and uh, one guy that actually, you know, sort of popped out on my screen was Kellen Winslow and he goes to one of my favorite schools University of Miami so I was like you know what that may actually be the move right now I may actually go ahead and pick up this 91 overall who doesn't really cost a lot of coins so I was able to buy out for 4,600 coins which is not bad whatsoever then I was like you know what it's time for me to pick up a quarterback and obviously from the school right here you guys have a clue of who I'm trying to pick up 
This guy is just uh, deadly. This card right here is just too much. If you guys haven't played with it yet, the only problem that's coming with this card is those dreads. I don't know what is going on with dreads in this game, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up Donald Robinson. 85 overall. You see he's over 10,000 coins. That's a little expensive for now. His value is definitely going to go down a month into the game. But for the time being, since I have no quarterback on the team, Eli Manning doesn't count, man. Eli Manning is still doo-doo at this level of the game. So I was like, let me go ahead, pick up a guy who's going to be able to run the ball and pass the ball as well, Denard Robinson. So you guys see my team is now 87 overall. And I'm actually pretty excited to go ahead and start another game. So we're searching for an opponent. Finally, we get matched up right here. So my opponent is going to wear the Kentucky uniform. I got the Maryland uniform still. So let's go ahead and get this one started. So we're going to do the heads and tails. I get the ball first. Look at Denard Robinson. We're going to try to scramble with this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go down for the sack. Here comes the screenplay. Uh-oh. As long as my offensive line does its job, and that is exactly what they do. CJ Spiller, a.k.a. Beast, takes this one for a touchdown. And already only one pass for Denard Robinson. That one went for 71 yards. So my opponent comes out here. He's going to get a little drive of his own. And, you know, my defense has to prove to me something. If not, I'm literally going to go out there and try to buy like 500 packs just to replace my entire defense. Because they have not shown up whatsoever. So here comes a second and 10 opportunity. Quarterback is stepping back. And this quarterback is actually Aaron Rodgers. And a beautiful pass right there for a touchdown. And just like that, things are knotted up 7-7. Seven to seven. Here comes a kickoff return. Bo Jackson is going to take this one. Cut to the left, Bo. Uh-oh, he's actually going to cut to the right because no one is there. Look at this. No one is at the right side. I see one guy right there. Let me get by him. Uh-oh, good block right there by number 17. And that is exactly what I needed to return this one with Bo Jackson. So just about a minute remaining here in the first half. Quarterback gets pressured, and he gets taken down. So Aaron Rodgers not looking so good right there. He's going to step back and redeem himself and pick up a decent amount of yards on that pass. And it is now a third and two opportunity. Look at this. Who is guarding that man in the receiver? Just going to tippy-toe his way into a touchdown. Just like that, it's 14-14. But with 20 seconds remaining, all we have to do is yet another C.J. Spiller screen. And this man could just take it to the house. Nine times out of ten, and uh, that might have been the one out of ten uh, percentage that he couldn't go in for a touchdown. But that, look at that beautiful pass by Denard Robinson. We only needed 20 seconds to score, and Denard Robinson is just shining right now. So we start the second half now, 22 to 14. Every single possession now counts for my opponent and me as well. So it's second and three right here. He's going to give this one to Bo Jackson, and he gets stopped. So it's now third and five situation. We need a key stop right here. Aaron Rodgers throws an interception. That is exactly what we needed. So let's make and take advantage of this turnover. Look at Donald Robinson go. Look at this man's speed. Mama, there goes that man. And then after that, he's going to hand it off to CJ Splitter, who is just a monster in this game so here comes second and goal this man might end it look at that read option are you kidding me folks Denar Robinson is just too much in this game then my opponent is gonna come out and throw yet another interception this time to Huff and Huff only four yards short of getting a touchdown but don't worry because we got CJ Spiller on the team who goes in and yet Gets another touchdown in this game. And my opponent, you know, I don't blame him for trying to go deep on this play right here. Because he needs to score. And he throws yet another interception. So here comes Denard Robinson going deep on the play. Look at Gilliard going up there and getting that reception. What a nice, beautiful catch right there. That should be on Sports Center's top 10 plays. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a kneel down. And then I was like, you know what? I don't want to call it a day. I don't want to go to dinner yet. I want to call a timeout with a second left. Before I go out for my birthday dinner, I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get one more play. Look at my opponent. He's trying to get a sack on me. I was able to break that tackle. And Killer Winslow Jr. goes in for the touchdown. So that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. It's your boy, Anto the Boss. I'll be back next time for more. I'm Audi. If you guys want to stay updated on when all my videos will be uploaded, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Boss.